Okay, good morning, everybody. Welcome, welcome to Mobility Flow Thursday morning. My name is Coach Debbie. So today we will be working with the bundle. I will be featuring working with one stick, two sticks, and featuring the short stick. And we're gonna start with our warm up. Warming up with one long stick. So today's class, um, a lot of dynamic flowing movements. There's gonna be a lot of lateral side to sides, twisting, turning, there's a lot. So make sure if you're doing class with me today, make sure you have a lot of space around you, okay? So let's get started. Taking a nice wide horse stance and we're gonna start with a nice three planes motion stretch with the breath. So inhale, reach up, open up the spine and exhale. Two more, inhale up and exhale. One more time, inhale, hold that stick up high and we're gonna do a nice little lateral tilt, just side to side. So just preparing our spine for movement today. Any type of workout you're doing, it's really good to start with a three planes motion stretch. Let's bring it up high and slow, slow turn to one side, keeping that stick high. The stick is just resting in those hands. Let's do one more. A nice little turn. Bring that stick up high, do a nice little wall slide right behind the head, neck and shoulders. Keep those knees softening, you're in a nice sports stance here. Reach up and wall slide down. One more. Reach up high, wall slide down. Let that stick rest right across the shoulders. Open those arms. Going into a lateral tilt. So light little pressure with your palms and with the leverage of your right hand, just tilt. And tilt. Feeling it opening up that lateral line with the breath. One more time. Let's tilt and hold for a moment. From here, I want you to try to connect the stick right to the floor. So I'm pushing the stick down, connecting with the floor, pushing that stick in at least 50 to 60% pressure. Nice and strong. We're gonna go into a little side hang it's gonna open up this whole lateral line here. So bending that inside leg and just hang. Just hanging here, let it go. Breathe. Let's go ahead and lateral lunge to the left, back to the right or whichever direction you're doing. I'm just, you're mirroring me, I'm trying to you know, if you wanna go right and left, that's fine. Whatever side you're working with is fine. One more time. Take it to the side and hang. As you see, I'm dorsiflexing that inside foot. And connect, slowly come back up. Center your stick. Let's go to that lateral tilt again, starting to your left tilt. Let's do one more. And then we're gonna connect the stick to the opposite side. So holding that tilt. Now, gazing at the floor, just start to work that stick down, connecting it, radiating it into the floor. I'm reaching to the top, big wide open arms. Before I do that dip with this knee, I'm making sure that this is connected nice and strong to support me. From here, Bend that inside leg, dorsiflex that foot. And it's a slight little hang here. <laughs> and just hang. 
breathe. Take a big inhale, exhale. And now let's lateral lunge. Keep that connection. Think about 50 to 60% pressure at least into the floor, maybe even more. Dorsiflex. Let's do two more. Feeling it in that adductor, that little lengthening. But we're working too. One more. And just hold for a moment. Hold, hold, hold. Lower that heel and carefully come out of that tilt. Shake it out. Bring those arms in. We're going to go to a hamstring stretch. So lifting that stick, wrapping it around, placing it right across your hips. With the feet parallel. So foot positioning really matters in a lot of these movements. So make sure feet are parallel, palms pressing back. Open those arms. And let's start to hinge forward slowly, getting into the backs of those legs. Breathe, let the head and neck just relax. Slowly ease out of it. As you come out, soften the knees. Careful not to hyperextend those knees. Let's do one more big inhale, exhale. Open those arms. Take a moment and really focus on the lengthening and what you're feeling in the backs of those legs, hamstrings. Let the head and neck go soft. Soften the knees and ease out of it. Nice, nice job. Bring the stick right in front of the sternum here. Open those arms. We're gonna do a nice flowing movement. We're gonna take a lateral lunge to the right, then left. So this is, we're going into some nice dynamic movement. So nice and strong, you have a, a grip about 30 to 40% on your grip here, keeping it strong. Breathe. Get the body nice and warmed up. Let's do four more. Three, two, get ready to connect that stick to 12 o'clock, one. So you're driving that stick in with your arm reached up. We're gonna go into a flowing movement, opening up the shoulders, but work in lower body too. Here we go. Release and let's go. Nice. If you need to adjust your grip, adjust your grip. Breathe. Take four more. Three, two, one. Reach. And let's go back. Keep moving. Big inhale, exhale. Of course, we're going to connect the opposite side and do the same thing on that opposite shoulder. Here we go. Connect. 12 o'clock. Think of Think clock here, 12 o'clock's right in front of you. Get a nice strong connection. Getting ready to wrap that shoulder across with that lateral lunge, release, and go. Now the key here, you have to keep driving as you're opening that arm, keep driving the stick into the floor to keep that strong connection. Let it flow. Breathe. This should feel good. Take four more. Three, two, one. Now bring the stick right to 12. Grip right about chin height. Feet parallel. Pull the stick in a little closer to you and we're gonna, I'm gonna show it to you this way. We're gonna go into a nice standing child pose or rest pose. Take a big inhale, exhale, drive those arms forward, hips come back, spine stretch. Feeling it in the backs of those legs also. Breathe. 
making it a little more dynamic if you want to add a little bit of a sway i'm again going into that nice lateral movement working in that horizontal plane a lot today in that warm-up and bring it center soften those knees now bone by bone i want you to tuck the chin tuck the clavicle rib cage draw the belly in and slowly slowly keep driving that stick ease out of that nice shake it out okay featuring our short stick now for some grip activation and for some balance you can absolutely do this with the long stick too what i like about using the short stick for grip is that I can, I can work with the grips on the stick. With the long stick, it's a little bit too far, so, but you can still do it, so no excuse. <laughs> All right, palms facing down, and you're gonna bring that stick right at chest height. So let's focus on the percentage of our grip activation. Starting out pretty strong. 50 to 60 percent grip press, pressure and we're going to push activating the anterior chain so one two three push you're going to feel this activate those pecs those biceps delts core keep that core powerhouse nice and strong getting ready to pull the stick apart 50 to 60 percent one two three pull feeling it in that posterior chain right through those lats breathe keep that pull activation and raise that stick up high keep pulling keep pulling we're getting ready to push this time think 60 to 70 percent stronger one two three push we're going stronger breathe again with the short stick i have a lot of grip activation control Getting ready to pull. One, two, three, pull. <laughs> right here. Breathe. Keep that pull activation. Lower the stick. Keep lowering it. Take it right down to the hips. We're gonna do one more grip activation. I want you to think 60 to 70% push. One, two, three, push. Feel that. Keep it strong. Nice strong grip. Strong grip, strong heart. There you go. Getting ready to pull. 60 to 70%. One, two, three, pull. Yes, feeling it right through those triceps and lats. Breathe. And let's raise that stick up one more time to chest height. And we're gonna speed up our grip activation a little bit. Keeping it right here. One, two, three, push. One, two, three, pull. Couple more. One, two, three, push. One, two, three, pull. Two more. One, two, three, push. One, two, three, pull. One more time. One, two, three, push, hold. One, two, three, pull, hold. Keep it strong, keep it strong. And slowly lower the stick as you're pulling. Ease off, shake it out, good job. All right, our upper body's nice and activated. We're gonna work with the stick in a little bit of single leg deadlift working balance. So again, what I like about the short stick, I have control with the grip here. So taking it to the side. Start with right leg or left, whichever. So drive that stick in. You're radiating into the floor very strong because you're going to need to, this is going to be your support system here. All right? So taking that inside leg, bring it up to 90 degrees. Now slowly start to kick that leg back into a single leg balance and extend the stick forward. Hold, hold, hold. And 
and slowly drive it back. 90 degrees again. Actually, I want the stick right centered with your thigh here. So if you take it here, then move it away about 12 inches. So it's a little bit more inside. We're gonna do something a little different here. Keep that leg raised, drive. Drive, drive, drive. Here we go. Let's do a little flexion and extension here. Breathe. Now slowly start to drive that inside leg back as you extend that leg, push that arm forward. From here, open up to a T. We're working our balance and close. One more. Open. Breathe. And close. Slowly drive that knee back up and shake it out. Nice. Let's get that other side. So here we go. Again, starting with that 90 degrees. So drive the stick in. Knee comes up. It's right center of your thigh. Move it out about 12 inches away. Drive. Knee comes up. Let's get ready. Just go ahead and slowly, leg comes back, arm comes forward and get your balance. Focus, find a focal point on the floor if you need it, which I need it. <laughs> and come back up. Let's do one more. Drive, kick back, hold, hold, hold. Can you extend that leg back a little further? And drive up, 90. Go ahead and extend and flex here. Breathe. Keep driving. We're going again. This time, opening up that arm laterally. So here we go, kick back. Arm extends forward or pushes forward. Now, open up. Challenging our balance a bit here. And bring it back. Keep driving that stick into the floor. Open up again. We have this. Hold. Bring it back. And drive that knee back up. Shake it out. Awesome job. All right, grabbing two sticks now, two long sticks. We're going to do a little hip strengthening here, working our hip health. If you have one stick, you can work unilaterally. If you want to have something like a chair for another prop as balance, go for it. But this can be done with one stick, just working one side at a time. Okay, so taking those sticks, arms are bone straight here, wide but we have those sticks slightly at an angle. So they're probably about a foot away from your feet here. Right here. So I want you to drive, drive those sticks into the floor. You're radiating them in. So just hold, breathe. All right, starting with one leg comes up, knee comes up, you're at that 90. The key here, don't let these arms go soft. Your grip is strong, pushing the sticks into the floor. For your support, start to open the door with that leg. Now, we're gonna extend the leg behind. You're behind the stick. Bend, kick in front of the stick. If you have any cramping, just shake it out and go back in. This can, sometimes I'll get a cramp here because it's a lot of work. Kick in front, bend 90 degrees and release. Let's get the opposite leg, drive that knee up 90, open the door, bring it slightly behind that stick and extend, kick, bend, in front of the stick, bend, behind the stick. One more. Bring that knee in and lower. Okay, I'm gonna challenge you a bit here. We're gonna be doing 
some adduction and abduction presses. Time under tension. Bring that knee up. Drive. Open. Now you're kicking right behind that stick. If you can bring it high, fine. If it's better for you, lower. Bring it lower. Now push that calf into the stick. Push. Push, push, push. You're adducting. You're feeling that right in that adductor, in that quad. You're pushing into that stick at least 40 to 50%. Bend that knee. Kick in front of the stick. All right, let's abduct. The outside of that calf, push. So you see I'm pushing into it, driving that leg into the stick. Breathe. Bend, one more time. Behind, if you can lift the leg higher, go for it. Push, push. So you're feeling it right in that adductor. The attachment work right into your pelvis, that hip. Push, push. Bend, these are hard. <laughs> Kick in front, abduct. Now with this abduction, I want you to bring your hips forward. All right, hips. Hip placement facing towards me. So I'm almost pushing back with my the back of my calf. Push. Bend that knee. And 90. Shake it out. Whew, that's, that's work. <laughs> Let's get that opposite side. Here we go. Drive that knee up. Open. Bring it right behind the stick. Now push that calf into the stick, push. Try to square off those hips. Try to get at least 40 to 50% pressure pushing in, maybe more. Breathe. And bend it. Kick in front, drive. Abduct, abduct. You're feeling it in that glute. So posterior chain of the leg there. Bend, bring that leg behind. If you can lift a little higher, go for it, and push. Challenging your balance too. Push, push, you guys, you have this. Whew. The heat is on. <laughs> in my body, not in my house. It's warm here in California. <laughs> Bend, and kick in front of that stick. Now remember, we are gonna actually connect with the back of the calf here. Push back, feeling it in that glute. Breathe, 50 to 60%, maybe more. Time under tension. And bend that knee. Come back to 90. Whew, shake it out. Nice job, you guys. Okay, we're gonna go into the human sail since we're set up for it. Take a nice wide stance, nice wide stance. Bring those sticks, your feet are turned out in second position, bring those sticks in to the arches of your feet, the instep there. Your grip, just about the tip of your head, top of your head here, maybe lower. So find the grip, grip height that works for you. So bring those sticks right in front, arms are bone straight. Take a big inhale. Exhale, open up, open up the chest, looking to the sky. You're going into that human sail. Keep driving those sticks into the floor. Anytime you're connected, you've got to keep that activation. And let's swoop it forward. Now this time, pull the hips back. Extend. Looking between the arms. Let's do two more. Big inhale. Exhale, open. Nice. Feeling that right in that interior chain, those abs stretching out. Here we go. Wrap it front again. One more time. Look between those arms. Here we go. Big inhale. Exhale. Open. And wrap them back again. Pull the hips back one more time. 
One more time. Soften the knees. And round out of this. Whew, nice job, nice job. Okay, still working with two sticks. We're gonna do some single leg work again. So taking those sticks parallel, drive them in. They're at an angle. Let's start with right foot forward. So your the right foot is between those sticks. Your grip is right about shoulder height. Drive really strongly into the floor, nice and strong. Extend those arms. Slowly hinge forward and lift that back leg. Now my sticks are like rails, they're very angled. Start with your right stick and raise it. Breathe. Connect it again, drive. Left stick, this is gonna take some balance. Raise it. Breathe. And connect, drive. We're gonna try both. Get yourself ready. One, two, three, lift. You wanna try to open. Close, connect and drive, and come back. Nice, shake it out. Opposite side. There we go. So again, foot between, strong angle in those sticks, especially when we move into that forward hinge here. Drive them in. Nice and strong before you start, get supported. Here we go, big inhale, exhale. Come into that single leg balance. Drive, starting with that left lift. So you have to drive with the right, extend with the left, and connect. Opposite side, here we go. Lift, breathe, and connect. All right, we're gonna try both. <laughs> we're gonna try both. Here we go. When you're ready, raising both sticks up. Support with that foot, that leg is strong, open. Close. Connect and release. Good job. Nice job, you guys. Okay. We are going to go into working, moving back to one stick. One stick. Dumpy squat. Since we're working those legs unilaterally, we're going to go bilaterally and keep both feet grounded. <laughs> Here we go. So finding a place where you can, either the roof, the ceiling, not the roof, the ceiling, <laughs> or a door jam, some place that you can place your stick. And we're gonna drive it up. If you don't have an area and you have vaulted ceilings, you can do it with the press, just go on the opposite drive than, than I'm gonna be doing. All right, here we go. Stick goes up. This is called dumpy squat. I love this move because it really helps strengthen our squat position, helps us perfect it. And being able to squat efficiently is such an important functional movement. We need to be able to squat in life. Here we go. Drive that stick into the ceiling. Breathe. Find a grip placement that's good for you. We're gonna slowly elevate or lower down. Nice and strong, keep that strong connection and feet wider than hip. Try to keep the feet more parallel if you can and start walking down the hands into a deep squat and hold. Breathe, try to keep that clavicle smiling, try to keep it, keep it open. Breathe.
slowly walk the hands up, coming out of that squat. We're gonna do one more. This time, we're gonna keep, we're gonna um, raise our grip a little bit here. Start higher. Here we go. Start walking those hands down, going into your squat, deep squat. Now, I want you to keep your grip right about chest height. So line it up with the chest and elbows are open. And now close. Open, shoulder height and close. Breathe, two more. This is hard. Open <laughs> and close. One more, open, close. Start to raise out of it. Okay, now I'm sweating, <laughs> which is a good thing. This, a lot of people don't realize how, much, how hard working with these are and how strong we work with them. So, okay, so with that, we're going into bow and arrow. Another very strong, staple stick mobility move. So here we go. Let's take it. Three o'clock, starting on the side. So you're, it's about maybe 10 inches from your foot. 90 degrees in your inside arm. Reach up, grip, pressing, radiate that stick down. Here we go. Drive the stick in, shift hips to the side, big inhale. Exhale, activate into your bow and arrow. And just hold. Hold, hold, hold. Wow, we're opening up that whole lateral line from the bottom of our foot to the tip of our hand here. Really feeling it in those obliques. Lats. And release. Nice. Okay, we're gonna do one more, but with a little spin on it. A little bit of a twist. <laughs> Here we go. Drive. Shift hips with the breath. Big inhale. Exhale. Activate. This one, maybe you're going a little bit deeper. Range of motion. From here, I want you to start to wrap the stick in front. If you can, if not, just hold it. Just hold it. I'm bending on that inside leg. Coming right behind that stick. Hold, 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 and ease out of it, but you're strong here. Open up and look to the sky, internally rotate that inside hip. Come back, and ease out. Nice job, you guys. Opposite side, opposite side, here we go. Drive that stick at nine o'clock, inside, 90. Reach up. The key here, you guys, really you have to get that shift in before you activate. If you're just standing straight, it's you don't get the same effect, okay? So drive the stick in, reach up. Here we go, shift. Big inhale, and exhale. Not as deep on this one, just hold. Breathe. We are stretching to be stronger. And ease out, nice. Okay, if your palm is sweaty like mine, <laughs> wipe it off. <laughs> That's not good when you're trying to activate. I'm really sweating here, you guys. Here we go. <laughs> We're going into that bow and arrow with a twist here. Drive, and again, if it's not comfortable doing that move, just hold your bow and arrow. Shift out. Take a big inhale. Exhale. Activate. Going a little deeper. Now let's start to go ahead and wrap that stick right across the body. My inside leg, my dorsiflexing that foot like I did in that warm up and lifting. I'm pulling, I'm pushing, opposing here. Time under tension. 
and slowly, slowly wrap back. As I do, my foot lowers and I internally rotate that hip, inside hip and pull. And come out and release. Whew. Nice job, you guys. Okay. Had one more for you, but I think I'm gonna move on to a nice low, lowering down to the floor. So if you can come down if you've got a mat onto your carpet, wherever you're at. Hopefully you're on the floor because these sticks work best with the floor. Um, we're gonna do a twisting move. We're gonna do a deep twist going into a deep adductor stretch. So coming down, make sure you have a cushion for that knee, some support, pillow. You're in a nice 90, 90, okay? Taking your stick, and you're gonna thread it underneath the leg. The, the knee that's bent, thread it on the outside of that knee. It's at an angle, and you wanna connect that stick to your hamstring. So here you go, the, the, the bottom of the stick is pressing into the floor. Reach out, and you're nice and tall. Open up the chest, pull that stick into your hamstring, with an opposite arm, we're gonna twist over and hold. Hold it right here. Breathe. Release with that outside arm and slowly go into that twist. Open, open. Breathe. And come back. Unthread. Take that stick to 12 o'clock. We're gonna open up that outside leg. I've got a really weird song on my playlist. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna keep you going. <laughs> Drive it in. <laughs> now, pull the stick in with a big inhale. As you exhale, go into that spine stretch again. Hips come back but you're going deep and getting a nice, deep adductor stretch. And just hold. Hold that stretch, hold it. Breathe. And now slowly, slowly round out of it. Okay, to come out of this, you guys, I'm gonna challenge you. That extended leg, I want you to bring right next to the stick, bent. We're gonna go into a squat. Drive that stick in. This back leg ready to step up. One, two, three. Step. You got it. And ease out. Nice job, you guys. Switching sides. I'm gonna turn this down real quick. I have this nice soothing playlist and all of a sudden like this crazy song comes on, okay? Sorry. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Opposite side, coming into a 90-90. Here we go. Threading on the outside of the leg. So thread it through, connect it to your hamstring. You're pushing it right into that hamstring. The tip of it, actually it's this way, sorry. This way, <laughs> it's at an angle. Reach that arm up and over and you're coming into a twist you're wringing out those internal organs here it's like a nice little yoga twist breathe feeling that stretch right in the glute the outside arm lifts and opens follow it if you can and hold big inhale exhale one more breath and come back, slowly, slowly unthread. Bring that stick right in front of you, 12 o'clock. Extend that leg. We're going into a spine stretch, getting into that adductor. Drive the stick in, take a big inhale, pull it into the chest. Exhale, extend, focus on right here, getting into that adductor. 
Try to get deep into that stretch there. Breathe. Big inhale, exhale. Hold for another moment. Now, bone by bone, little C curve in the spine. Start to roll out of this. Come back up, and we're gonna try to step out of this. So here we go. Bend that leg, drive that stick in to support. You're gonna step up into a squat. One, two, three, go. And ease out of it. Nice job, you guys. We're gonna end with one last deep stretch. We are going to, one of my favorites, slap shot. Just, not too many of them. Are you are ready, your, your body is primed for this now. So let's bring that stick right behind the sacrum. Take a nice wide horse stance. Arms are open, but softened elbow. Start with a hinge, take a big inhale, and exhale, hinging 90 degrees. Starting with one side, whichever side you choose, leverage, push, and roll that stick across the hip. Try to connect it to your 12 o'clock position here. If you can't, if this is as far as you can go, that is absolutely fine. Just go to your range. Some of you might be able to be right over here. I haven't done that one in a while. <laughs> I'm gonna stick to 12 right now, because that feels good for me. Here we go, so drive. We're gonna start with a lateral lunge to your right, or whichever side you wanna go. Nice, opening up that whole pectoral area there. Breathe, and let's go to the opposite side. With the breath. This is a breath, the breath will assist you getting deeper into these stretches. Here we go, big inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And inhale, come center. Now slowly raise that stick up. Keep it at 12 o'clock if you can, right here and back to center shake it out nice job we're going to get that opposite side so let's hinge forward opposite side leverage bring that stick to where you want it i'm going to 12. drive drive that stick into the floor i want you to focus on the movement you're about to do we're gonna lateral lunge to, I'm lateral lunging to my left. So take a big inhale, exhale. Oh, and my back just cracked too. <laughs> Yay, got, got a little adjustment there. Here we go, hold. Let's go to the opposite side. And with the breath, big inhale. Exhale, and you're going a little deeper into that slap shot. Big inhale, exhale. Inhale, come center. Now, again, lifting the stick, try to keep it at that 12 o'clock right here, and ease out of it, shake it out. Nice job, you guys. That concludes our 45 minute mobility flow workout. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Wanted to feature all three sticks. I encourage you, if you decide to get this beautiful tool here, it's worth it to get the bundle. So much you can do with all three. You can absolutely do some everything with one, but there's so many things we can enhance with two sticks and a shorter stick. My name is Debbie Gleason. You can find me on Instagram, Debbie F. Gleason. Please um, stay tuned and keep following Stick Mobility for all our coaches that teach classes on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. 
and follow us on YouTube because all these classes live on YouTube, also on our IG, um, IGTV page too. So have a wonderful Thursday and I'll see you next Thursday.